Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting company today. You know, since you're here, I might as well just take you through a Blu-ray update if you don't mind. Alright guys, Luke Mick here, and as you may know, the $5 trade-in deal is back at Best Buy. That's where you bring in a DVD and get $5 off a of Blu-ray $9.99 or more. And usually I spend a lot of money uh, during that promotion that they do, and this is not an excuse. I also spent a lot of money this time. So I'm going to run you through all the things I bought using that deal, and it's sort of like a Blu-ray update. So Blu-ray buys, whatever you want to call it. And... I bought a lot of kind of dumb movies because they're five dollars and they're movies that I think are fun to watch but they're not great some of them so let, let's just go through them first I got the Ben Shormers I used to really like this movie you know like third grade and uh, I just bought it for five dollars just thinking about it some parts are kind of funny because I watched it recently and then some parts are like insanely stupid but I thought five dollars I might as well buy it this movie, um, you guys might not like to hear this, um, it's a movie that, it's a sequel, first of all, it's a movie that tried to be as silly and over the top and as, like, knowingly bad, um, as its predecessor, but it did it in all the wrong ways, and critics and audiences alike loathe this movie, but, um, I think it's just a really funny attempt at making a movie, and that's Piranha 3 Double D. I like the movie because it's so damn stupid. Um, and there's some just really weird and funny stuff in here. Uh, it says twenty dollars on the price tag. That's not true. It was eighteen. I got five dollars off, and I got another five dollars off using a coupon. So it was eight dollars. I'm kidding. It wasn't eight dollars. I spent about thirteen dollars on it because I forgot the coupon. Can't lie to you guys, but I just bought the first one and I wanted to buy that one, so whatever, just don't judge me. This movie, also $5, uh, The Woman in Black, I didn't like it very much when I first saw it, I thought it was kind of dumb, and I haven't seen it since, but it's another movie like Spider-Man where I'm willing to give it another, another chance, um, because I really did like the ending of this movie, and I'm not going to ruin it for you guys, obviously, um, but $5, I mean, big deal, it's... It's a decent horror movie. Uh, this one, I've been wanting this one for a while. It scared the crap out of me when I was a little kid, like seven years old, and that's Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, I, I got it for five because it's, you know, ten dollars right there. Bring in the DVD at five. Um, I'm going to have to watch this soon. I heard it's supposed to be really good. I don't really remember. And I just remember I was disgusted by all the blood, but I have obviously grown out of that. All right, next up. I haven't seen this movie. I I remember kind of following it when it was in theaters, but it's it's um, foreign, so I couldn't really see it. Didn't wasn't released by me, and it's supposed to be pretty good. And I don't know really anything about it. And that's I saw the devil. Um, got it for five dollars. It was I guess it's just always ten dollars. And um, it's I don't know. It's just a movie that I kind of wanted to look into and watch. I think it's from the with the same director of The Last Stand, which is a little odd, but I mean. What are you going to do? Alright, another movie. Yep, there's quite a few more to go. Uh, there Will Be Blood. Um, it was $10, and you get $5 off the DVD. I got it for $5. I haven't seen it. The only Paul Thomas Anderson movie I have seen is The Master, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Hopefully I like this um, a bit more. This, I've never even heard of this movie, Legends of the Fall. Um... It was on sale for 10 so we got it for 5 uh, I know my mom, it was my mom picked this out, she bought it, and, um, she said it was good, so, I mean, maybe I'll watch it someday, but it's just another Blu-ray to have on the shelf, if you ask me. Uh, another one I got, I think all the rest of them are all $5 Blu-rays, yep. Um, this one, Gattaca, uh, I was surprised to see this at my Best Buy, usually... Oh, my Best Buy got really cheap. They used to have a lot, a big selection, but now they've really, like, sliced it in half. But, uh, anyways, Gattaca, I just actually watched this in biology class three months ago. And I thought it was pretty good, and I want some more Jude Law movies and Ethan Hawke movies. And, yeah, $5, eh, whatever. Another Ethan Hawke movie here, Training Day. I haven't seen it. I really like End of Watch, so I have a feeling I'm going to like this. Uh, $5 as well. Uh, we're down to two. 
Alright, this one's from my dad, Bad Boys. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Michael Bay. I haven't seen Bad Boys 1 or 2. I'll give it a shot. I'll watch it. It looks like a fun popcorn action movie. Um, $5, obviously. And the last one I got uh, was Moon. I have wanted to watch this for a while. I heard that it's kind of maybe creepy, I guess, and just really different and mysterious. I don't know what's coming out of my mouth, but it was $5 as well, and I thought so I really liked Sam Rockwell in Seven Psychopaths, so I must like him in that too. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'll have more Blu-ray updates if you guys, you know, like this video. But even if you don't like this video, I'll still make more, um, just because that's what I like to do. So I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, more to come.